So last summer I started uh, making these drawings of cats. I'm a big fan of cats. Probably most of you who know me at all would know. He really likes cats. What's wrong? We are not. And uh, cats were my only friends, you know, as a child. I could always count on a cat to be like, you know, comforting. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, I started drawing these pictures and uh, I kind of learned about this whole world of sort of stationary and pens and things. And it's incredible. There's this whole kind of analog movement underground thing, you know. And so uh, I started, you know, I draw with a pencil and then I go over it with like fountain pens with a black ink that is waterproof. And then I use dip pens to do all the colors and the colors in. And at the end, I use a fountain pen again with chocro, which is the blackest of black inks from Japan, made by Platinum. Anyhow, so one of my paintings that I did, I was selling them on Etsy, and I did this painting that had a flower cat with little cat faces around it, right? And I was like, it's a flower, and those things around the sides are like seed pods. And they fall off, fall off, and then they, you know, spawn into more cats or whatever, you know, but it's more like a flower would do. Okay, so I made this painting, and then uh, my wife saw the painting. She said, hey, that looks like Midsummer," And Midsummer is this crazy kind of technicolor nightmare movie, a uh, horror movie by uh, this dude who's like a genius. And he made a movie before it called Hereditary that I really, really liked, and so I had to see Midsummer. And I didn't like Midsummer as much as Hereditary, but Lisa was so correct that it did look like Midsummer. It was kind of colorful and leaves and flowers and stuff, right? And that's what the look of Midsummer is. So now I decided, wow, I'm really into this. And then a good friend of mine who's great at uh, Adobe Illustrator made what you call a vector drawing out of my painting Midsummer. And the vector drawing is what's on the kick drum. It's what's on the t-shirts. It's on the stickers. It's on like everything because I loved it so much. So I'm like, that's gonna be my album art for Midsummer, but I haven't made the album yet. <laughs> But we went ahead and did all the merch with the stuff, and I even bring out some uh, some of the ink paintings, some originals that I brought along, only for millionaires. And uh, I'm kidding, and hundred heirs can get them too. And uh, so uh, anyhow, that's where all this crazy artwork came from. I will have an album this summer, eventually, the end of the year or early next year. You too much, but I just want to explain where that image came from and why it's everywhere, including on some of your shirts. Okay.